our relationship someday and then we're going to start by teaching in that direction after which we look at what the Lord will have us know even as we journey into this program praise the Lord how many of you believe that God has done so much for you if you believe raise your hand praise the Lord oh my God oh no you have done so much for me. You have done so much, oh, have done so much for me. Oh, no, you have done so much. Where you are, can you just be grateful to God? You've done so much, oh, I've done so much for you, you have done so much for me. All right, we are going to do the song, you open your spirit. You know, just be grateful. I've taught you by the, you know, by the Spirit of God last week Sunday how to be in the Spirit. When you begin to sing songs, begin to picture the one you are singing to. That's how to come into the Spirit. So when we are singing this song, I want you to see the one you are thinking. That's how to avoid distraction. So much for me. Oh Lord, you can have done so much for me. You've done so much, oh, I've done so much for me. So much, oh, I've done so much, Jesus, for me. I've done so much. Two more minutes. Can you open up your spirit right now? You have done so much. Hi, Jesus. I've done so much for me. You've done so much, oh, Jesus. I've done so much, oh, so much for me. Oh, I've done so much. You've done so much, oh, I've done so much for me, oh, 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 you, hi, we are going two more times, open up your spirit, you have done so much, oh, Jesus, I've done so much for me. Oh, you are you. I've done so much 
Jesus. One more time. You've done so much, oh. I've done so much for me. Oh, 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 oh. Kai, oh my God. You know, we are going to be using the song as a ladder to ascend, even in this meeting. It's going to be a ladder to ascend to, oh God, God. Oh God. God. You've done so much, oh Jesus. I've done so much. I've done so much You've done so much Oh, Jesus Oh, Jesus you know, when you can see, you can sing. Are you there? When you can see, you can sing. Many cannot sing because they cannot see. One of the ten lepers that were healed by Jesus. You see, when you begin to see that the Spirit of God is laying there passing on something, know that there's something he wants to do. Yesterday, during the ten hours teaching, you discover the Lord gave us a song around appreciation. And today too, very early, He's giving us a song around appreciation again. When you see God laying in fussy on something, it means there is something He wants to achieve in that. The reason one of the lepers came back to Jesus was because he was able to see that he has done what? So much. Until you can see reason, until you can see that God has done so much for you, you may not have any reason to say thank you. There may not be any need for thanksgiving. Oh my God, can you just think, think deeply? You've done so much, oh. I've done so much for me. Oh, 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 oh. Kai. Oh my God. So much. Praise the Lord. Because, you know, if we begin to press into this song, you know, anything can happen. But I know that we are going to be ascending using this song today. This song that the Spirit of the Lord has given to us is going to be the ladder with which we will ascend into the realms of God. But uh, we need to continue as the Spirit of God calls for the song course we will raise it again praise God now as regard relationship you must understand that anytime somebody comes to you for a relationship there is something the person has seen are you there when I say there's something the person has seen it, this scene now may not necessarily be spiritual in spiritual sense it can be by observation. There are people that are very observant. They observe you. They study you. Some of them can take time to go to where you live. What kind of person is this? What kind of brother is this? Are you getting what I'm saying? So some people come to you to tell you about relationship because of the product, the result of the research they have made. Some people come to you for relationship. I'm giving you reasons. Some will come to you for a relationship because they felt that they have been convinced by the Spirit of God. Some people come to you for a relationship because they, because of what they see in you. Maybe they have watched you minister before. Maybe you have a good voice. Maybe you are part of the choristers and then they have this special love for choristers. Maybe because of the way you dress. Maybe because of the way you talk. 
maybe because of the way you live your life. But for whatever reason, you must know that no one comes to us. No one will come to you without a what? A reason. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? The reason I'm starting with this is because of something. If people will come to us for a reason, then we must understand that <laughs> there is something we need to pay attention to. The reason for the relationship is what becomes the strength of the relationship. I get what I'm saying. The reason for the relationship is what becomes what? The strength for the relationship. If the reason for the relationship is not genuine, the strength of that relationship will be what? Will be weak. Are you with me? So don't be shy. Don't be too shy to ask, why are you saying what you're saying? Because if the reason is not genuine, the relationship will not stand. Are you getting what I'm saying? I hope you know that you can fall in love with things and yet you think you are falling in love with the person. Do you know it's possible? You can see the gift in the life of the person. Maybe she's very hardworking. Maybe he is very hardworking. Are you there? These qualities you see can bring you to a conclusion that, oh, this is the person. Are you getting what I'm saying? The reason I'm taking my time to teach you this is because you have to be careful. Oh, the Lord is leading me to you for a relationship. It's not a lot. Let me tell you something. For some people, the voice of God to them is the voice of their emotions. Are you there? If God has spoken to you, are you there? If God has spoken to him about you, then God must also want to speak to you about who? I get what I'm saying. If God has spoken to him about you, then what? God must also speak to you about him. It must be two ways, not one way. Are you getting what I'm saying? Both of you must be sure beyond reasonable doubt that God is involved. Are you with me? Is a nice person is not enough. I hope you know that marriage can change people. Do you, do, do you know that? See, one of the things that responsibility does is to press. There's a dimension of responsibility that presses. Are you there? Responsibility has the ability to what? To press. And this pressing that I'm referring to is not because the person is poor. No. You see, there's a, there's, a, there's a tendency in you that relationship or responsibility is the only thing that can what? That can bring out. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's the truth. You see, re- responsibility presses. So you must go beyond is a good brother. She's a good sister. No. You have to be what? Be sure. Tell your neighbor, you have to be sure. You have to be sure. Praise the Lord. Let me read from my daughter. The Lord spoke to me while I was sitting there, there. So I'm going to share with you what he told me. Praise the Lord. Now look at this. For God to create the woman, what did he do to the man? Huh? For God to create the woman, what did he do to the man? He removed, the first thing was, he made the man to what? To fall asleep. After sleeping, what's the next thing? He removed what? One of the ribs, right? And with that, what did he do? He formed the woman. Now the question is this, how can just one rib form a person? That's the question to ask ourselves. You see, when the Bible begins to tell you things like this, you must ask the Holy Ghost questions because it's deeper than what you are saying. 
One rib cannot form a man. Are you with me? But why is the Bible now pointing to the rib? What God is trying to teach you is this. Listen to me. There is a part of the man that is in the woman. Are you there? And also, there is a part of the woman that is in what? The man. I'm going to show you some things that maybe you have never heard before. God removed the rib of the man, one of the ribs, and make the woman. So because of this, the woman will have to be a supporter to who? To the man. You see, what God uses, what God takes from you to make for you, Eh? Is what defines the function of that which is being made for you. I'm going to show you some things. What God takes from you eh, to make for you is what defines the function of that which is being what made for you. So because the woman that was made for the man was taken from the rib of the man. Now we know the function of the woman. Are you there? By the virtue of this that was done to the man, we know that the primary role of the woman is is to what? To support the man. And I've taught you the position of the woman, right? I think I've done that maybe two Sundays ago or three Sundays ago, right? Now look at this. (laughs) Oluwa <laughs> Oyo I've done so much for Oluwa Oyo I've done so much for Now look at this look at this Before you get I'm going to talk about the man. I want to take my time to tell you some things about the woman. Before you get married as a single lady, your beauty can be on your face. Are you there? Yes, somebody can look at you and say, oh, you are beautiful by face. But you see, after you get married, your beauty now is in submission to the man. So if you are not submitting to the man that you are married to, you are not beautiful. The beauty of those that are married is hidden in their ability to submit to the man. Because if the woman refuses to submit to the man, she is violating a rule. She is not acting as the rib. You need to go and check the function of the rib that was taken to know the function of the woman. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you getting what I'm saying now? When God took the rib, did he put another rib? No. He covered up the space with flesh. Meaning that vacuum is what? As a woman, if you refuse to support your man, the vacuum will be what? Not using the man powerfully, and it may be working in beauty, but the vacuum will be what? Let me show you something. So, now look at it. Let's go to the man. You see, as a man, your if, your if is in you. Are you there? When I say your if, I'm talking about your intimate now, the woman. Your woman is in you. I will show you something. Whatever instruction the Lord is giving to you as a man, is also giving it to your woman. Which is you. you see, when relationship starts, a wise man, what you need to do is to begin to relate to the woman those things that God has supposed to do before the woman came physically. Because while God was speaking to Adam in the garden, the woman also heard, but she heard in Adam. 
where they are made now, as I'm talking to you now, you are not the only one that What is relationship? A sister sent a message to me on, on um, one of our beloved sisters anyway. She she probably maybe she probably watching us. She she sent a message to the sister. What what do people do in relationship? I was so sarcastic. I said, you know what they do? They will take tambourine. <laughs> They'll be shaking it. <laughs> They'll be shaking it like this. I'll be dancing. <laughs> Are you there? At first, you know, I was speaking to her jokingly before I now answer the question. You see, as a man, your if is in you. Your if is not always fast. The if is in you. But when it is time, what God does now is to now bring out what is in you, which is in So every instruction that God is giving to you now. You see, the first thing you do in relationship as a man is to begin to relate to the woman the instruction that God has given to you before the woman came. Are you there? Not this, uh, have you eaten? Okay. I do well that the electricity is really funny. <laughs> Things that are not relevant. Hey. Are you getting what I'm saying? Hello, sir. If you claim your relationship and then your own Adam is not relating anything to you that God has told him before you came, please check again. Good man can change under pressure, but God man does not change. Are you getting what I'm saying? Good man can what? Can change. Can change under pressure, but a God man. So the first function of the man is to relate to the woman the instructions that he had received from the Lord before the physical appearance of the woman. If he's not doing that to you, I think there's something that needs to be done urgently. Do it. a man that cannot what? That cannot bring out your potency as a helpmate. Look at this. A man that is not doing anything does not need anything. Are you getting what I'm saying? A man that's not doing anything does not need anyone. Because if he brings somebody, praise God, because if he brings somebody to himself, what will happen? Both of them will be, will be standing, folding their what? Their hands. But a man that is doing something needs a helpmate. So when the helpmate comes, she will be what? Busy. Are you there? There are a lot of relationships now that is idle. The man is not doing anything. The only, when I say it, oh God, I need to begin to simplify some things. When I say he's not doing anything, I'm not talking about jobs. Are you there? I mean, look at this. I'm not talking about job. I'm talking about divine assignments. Are you there? What vision is he running with? So when you come as the helpmate, you cannot what? Run together with what? That vision. Not also neglecting your own vision. So, he will run with your vision, yes, as you run with what? His vision. Look at your vision and his vision comes together to become one. So you run together. Not like one is going like this, the other one is going like this. No, it will not work. Are you there? I tell you the truth in the Holy Ghost. We love people of God. Listen to me. I'm giving you certain keys now that you should never forget. For anyone to be qualified as 
your partner, there must be alignment in purpose. There must be what? Alignment in purpose. Because if there is no alignment in your purpose, it will not support. It will not support your vision. Are you there? You will just discover that your own vision is dying, but yet his own is what? It's growing. It's because there is no alignment in vision. In purpose, I mean. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you with me? So, as Adam, your if is where? Is in him. The reason God will be bringing instruction to you is so that when the if comes, you can what? Relate it. And that was the problem in the garden of Eden. Are you with me? When Eve came, there was no place where the Bible told us that. Are you there? Are you getting what I'm saying? Adam did not take time to educate Eve. He just gave her the uh, peripheral. Not in, in depth. Are you getting what I'm saying? When you begin to discuss what God has told you before she came, you have to go what? Deep. Otherwise, she will eat the forbidden fruit. She won't stop there. She also what? Give it to you. Are you getting what I'm saying? And that's why those that were hot are now cold now. Because their partner has eaten the forbidden fruit and he has what? Given it to them. You see, relationship is more than what we think it is. If you really want to understand what relationship is about, you need to go and look at the origin. Most of the things we do has foundation. Am I right? So you need to go back to the foundation to check. Look at this. It is normal as a sister for all brothers to want to be with you. It's normal. As you are going home, a brother can walk up to you and say, well, you are beautiful, please, can we be? It's normal. But it is abnormal for you not to be able to say no. If you don't know how to say no, you have what? An issue. As a bit. There is a time to say no. And there is a time to say wait. You discover I did not say yes, right? Yes does not always come first. Yes does not what? Always come first. It is either it comes after a no or after a what? A wait. So if you put first what should come last, you are confused. It doesn't matter who is talking to you. Even if it's your papa and your father in the Lord, the order, the protocol must not be what? Must not be broken. Listen to me. Every man wants to get a quick response. That's the truth. Whether they are Christian or not. You, you tell them, wait, okay. While waiting, they'll still be calling, hello, I just want to greet you. I know you say I should wait, but uh, you know, I'll still wait. I just say I should take up for you. They'll keep touching that waiting. That they will let you know that you are keeping them waiting. No, men don't like to wait. Are you there? But the truth is this: whatever they wait patiently to get, they treasure it. That's it. Men don't like to wait. It's not in their gene <laughs> to wait. For them, if they come to you today. You should give them response to them. Let's know where we are going. <laughs> but if they wait to get something, what will they do? That thing that is pushing you, hey, am I not, am I not keeping him waiting too much like this? How many days? Three days for you. Three days are more than anything. And then there's this thing we must work on, especially sisters. One of the ways to keep your values is to learn how to be you know how to be satisfied with what you have there are ladies that they are not they are not satisfied with what they have you see 
that you are in a relationship does not mean you begin to put burden on him. It's not Alpha and Omega. Are you there? See, asking unnecessarily reduces your value. When a person begins to give you things and you are collecting, ask it, it's giving, you are collecting. Do you know what you are doing to yourself? You begin to give the person this entitlement mentality. This thing I'm saying now even affects Christian sisters. He gave you this. There's no day you will not ask for one thing. Whether can do. Some people can they so much ask that they even ask for 200 naira. And some sisters are so unbelievable, all, it's so ridiculous that have you not seen some sisters doing this before? They did not, they, they have not met the brother before. But just because of one little well, good afternoon, good afternoon, and now I just smile like that. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Come and buy coke for me now. Have you not seen something like that before? Is a bad what? Habit. See, collecting things from men unnecessarily is the same as having sex with them. I know some of you now, this thing, this, what I just said now is hard. That's how the truth is. It's really hard. It's, the pill is hard. Now look at this. When you are collecting something from a male, you are reducing your what? He can talk to you anyhow. Because now you have given him this mentality that you are entitled to him. Or maybe he's entitled to, to, to you whatever way. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why one time he can just call you and say, let me to pick this. And maybe you are tired, then no, 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 later. You see, they just fly up on things that is, eh? I, I, have you not seen that before? They just fly up on little things. Yes, your value is decreasing. Maybe you know how to collect data. <laughs> Collecting data. See, you must train yourself to that point that even when you don't have and you are given, you can still say what? Thank you. You know, people now, if you if you are doing something, maybe you bought one bread. I'm not talking about bread, bread. Bread in cash. I'm not talking about bread. You buy something and you say, hey, what you? What, you are feed yourself. <laughs> you are dead. <laughs> They will never say no. And they'll be doing it laughing. <laughs> you know, it's because. Yeah. Hello? Your value decreases when you don't know how to stay with what you have. You can go to a friend's house without having food at home. Are you getting what I'm saying? And the only thing you have in your house is just a cup of curry. And you go to your friend's house and you saw chicken there. They can say, come and eat. You can say, thank you. And you will go home, not crying and say, ah, Lord. No, go home with joy, soaking the garden without anything. If you are what? You are satisfied. You see, satisfaction is not a function of what you have or what you don't have. That's what some of us don't know. If satisfaction is a function of the things you have gathered, then rich men will no longer do business. Are you getting what I'm saying? Once they become millionaires, they want to be billionaires. Once they become billionaires, they want to be trillionaires. Are you getting what I'm saying? Satisfaction is not a function of what you have materially or what you don't have. Satisfaction is a spirit. If that spirit does not possess you, you cannot be satisfied. Never. Some of you now you think you are you you, you, you think you are satisfied. It's the day they will come and give you a jeep and a house, and then your goal now is lost, but I get ten million naira, and they will give you ten million naira. Then you discover that the next day now you are already thinking of another thing again. Satisfaction is not a function of the things you have gathered. It's a spirit. It is the spirit of God in you that works out satisfaction from within you. So now look at me. A man that does not have food at home can be satisfied. And you will see a millionaire not satisfied. It's not a function of what you have It's a spirit. 
something from the man to make the woman. God also takes something from the woman for the man. <laughs> I will show you. And there, this is why you see that, have you ever had this experience before? Naturally when you are moving, you are fine with the way you are. But on the way you don't see a sister coming from afar. Suddenly you do like this. Now it's not like you know the sister. You don't plan to talk to the sister. But the presence of that opposite sex gives you a sense of Jacko, if your pocket is still by the side. Are you there? It's a sign that there is something that was taken from you to make that person that is coming. It's a natural sign. The same thing, the, the, you see the lady too, trying to adjust us. That's why she will now remember, okay. Maybe there's dust in my skirt. Oh, she wants to do it well. It's a sign. God took rib from the man to make the woman. But God took the crown of the woman to make the man. That's why the woman will always submit to the man. And that's why the man is the head of the woman. It was the crown of the woman that was used to form the man. So the one that has the crown is the head of the woman. Even when you are collecting 5 million naira and your husband is collecting 50,000 naira, if you are a Christian, who is still the head? Are you getting what I'm saying? Someone said, ah, this one, the pastor is saying, now where is it? In the what I'm teaching you, what I just said now, is by revelation. I saw it in this way. <laughs> are you with me? The crown of the woman was picked to make what? And the rib of the man was used to it. That is why, you see, what is taken points your attention to the position. So the woman is taken from the rib. She stands to support the man. The man was formed from something from the end of the woman. So he has to stay. look at this. Look at this. You see, the, the woman is in the man. Are you there? As a brother now, the, the wife you are going to marry is already in you. But you know what to bring it out? See, if the woman in you is not out and you marry, you have married wrongly. Because that person you marry is not the bone of your bone. It's not the flesh of the flesh. See, before you... <laughs> Before you marry, check who. Some people are married now, they are really still complete. It's, it's not time, that's what it means. <laughs> the woman in you is not out, but you have seen another woman you want to go and marry. How come? You stole the game. <laughs> Many wives are stolen. <laughs> that's the truth. So the question now is how do I bring out the woman that is in me? The woman in you comes out the day you discover purpose and you start working in that purpose. It is your purpose that brings out the woman that is in you. So if you, are, if you have not discovered purpose, sir, you don't need a relationship. 
Because the woman in you is not out yet. That's why you see that if you end up in a relationship in that state, both of you will end up as gossips. Talking about this, talking about that. There's no future to plan, nothing. That's the sign. Are you getting what I'm saying? And when Adam saw, when Adam saw Eve, what did he say? Did he say, girl, you, you find that? Is that what he said? He said, you too, you too fine, you too fine. You know, that's what we, we are saying now. <laughs> and in the beginning, it was not so. Adam said, what did he say? This is what the bone of my bone. And what? You know what it means? The bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh. You know what it means? Now, it means that as a man, your if is that person that believes in what you believe in. Are you there? He believes in what? What you believe in. Is that person that you are submitted to the same lordship? I'm not saying you go to the same church. I'm not saying you have the same father and the Lord. That's not what I'm saying. You believe in God. And you believe that the Holy Spirit can lead you as a child of God. Now you have another Christian who do not believe that the Holy Spirit can move. Who do not believe that the Holy Spirit can lead. And you are saying that one is the one you have found, you want to marry. Are you right? Of course you are wrong. That is not the bone of the bone. Of your bone. Bone of my bone. Maybe this one is coming from my source. We have the same source. We have undergone the same dealings in the spirit. We have the same out of Not just random, random girlfriends. Are you getting one? If you are in a hurry, well, you miss it. Good things don't come in a hurry. Are you there? You have to what? You have to what? Wait for it. Good things don't what? Don't come in a hurry. You have to wait for it. We are in a generation whereby once a lady starts growing tall, she's already ripe. She, she has already become a tree. And now there are predators everywhere. That's the truth. You see GS3 girls telling you they are, are you getting what I'm saying? That's the kind of world we are in. But we must understand the right thing to do so that we not miss it. Are you with me? Let me ask you a question. Do you know that um, it is possible for you to move without a destination, but it is not possible for you to move without a direction? It is possible for you to what? To move without a destination, but it's not possible for you to move without a direction. Because even a man that is aimless is moving in direction. It's only that he's moving in an uncertain direction. <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying? Now look at this. Let's assume now as a Christian sister, the way you are seated now, looking like the Holy Ghost. <laughs> now somebody now, a brother now comes to me and says, Well, um, uh, sister, God bless you. Actually, I want us to be friends. Let's all be friends, then we... At the long run, whatever God now says, but let's just be friends. How many of you can agree to such a statement? You see, now nobody's raising hands. This is because you are too anxious of the future. You want him to say, Yes, yes, I, I'm going to, I will marry. How many people say marry that they did not even tarry? They did not tarry to marry, but they, they started by saying what? Marry. They deceived you because they know that's what you want to hear. Some of you, you will never be committed to his vision if he did not say what? Marry. You are selfish. You are selfish. It means that the motivation for all the effort you are putting into his work is because you are looking at marriage. How many Christian sisters can do what I'm saying? Oh, let's just be friends. And you will see her putting her best into what you're doing. 
And that's why you have seen a lot of brothers coming to you. They are not sure, but they tell you marriage. So that you can flow with them. Because you will feel like you are what? Wasting your worth. I know some of you will ask questions. Does it not mean that uh, we should go into a relationship that is not defined? Of course, no. If somebody says, let's be, just, just be friends, is that one not defined? It's defined already. At the long run, if you now find somebody, you can tell him, are you there? Him or her? Okay, this person, are you there? That's all. And then, beloved of God, I need to, I must say this. Because it's becoming an issue. I hope you know that there's a difference between wedding and marriage. What is wedding? What is marriage? The institution, right? Do you know what wedding is? Wedding is just people packing your foodstuffs to the hostel. Are you there? After putting your food in the hostel, what will happen? They wave you goodbye, they leave. Then you will start receiving lectures. But unfortunately, most of us, we, when they waved us and said goodbye, we were so carried away with the escort. And in the process, we lost every strength we have. And there's no, no more strength to even go forward for lectures so the day they left you you, you have been in the hostel two or seven what I'm saying now is a form of parables you have have you not seen some weddings before and you when you saw the bride coming and you saw those that followed the bride you said blood of Jesus have you not seen those kind of weddings before The plague that has befallen us, that has come upon the body now, is everybody want to do celebrated thing. Have you not discovered that? There are some people who, are, who have not gotten married now because there's no money to rent all. So as long as the all is not ready, two of them are not what? You are, you are a joker. <laughs> Playing Ludo. You see... May we not lack wisdom. Some of the things we see as a big deal, it's not, it's not a really big deal. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you going to sleep in the hall? Wait, I'm not... Eh? Because of pictures. Uh, I'm going to be no apostle John C. Suleiman. Okay. The man, by the grace of God, I think currently he has maybe two or three private jets. I know he doesn't have one. Maybe two, three, or even four. You know what it means to own a private jet? And he has been moving from countries to countries, holding crusades, spending millions. When they did their... Have you not seen the pictures of some of these patriarch of it? They are wedding pictures. How that they look like painting. <laughs> not that kind of painting that you, 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 you use only pencil. The, you you darken the lower part, the, the upper one will be light. I'm using that description so that you can know how changed they have been. That is to show you that those people are meant for each other. That's a right choice. Look at this. It's supposed to be from glory to glory. The all you took your picture, the design is like heaven. And now when you took picture, Compared to the very picture, is now. <laughs> but that's the reality we have now. That's the truth. If you pick the wrong choice, you are not moving from glory to glory. It's from fried pan to whatever. Are you getting what I'm saying? See, let me teach. Let me tell you something. So my beloved sisters, you see, if you can wait on God, the will of God is sure for you. That's the truth. Don't let anybody make you feel like they are the one adding value to you. That's how some people do. They want to make you feel like they are the one that is adding value to your life. 
If they are not there, what much can you do? People like that are demon in Ankara. Are you getting what I'm saying? Don't ever allow, even if the person is a minister, don't let anybody feel that one acting for you. Both of you are what blessing each other. That's it. Because if somebody begins to make you feel like it's not adding value to you, you will not be able to fulfill purpose personally. You will, you will feel inferior. Get what I'm saying? The Lord will help us. In the name of Jesus. Please, do we have any questions? I think we need to round off this first session before we go into another session again. Do we have any questions? I hope we have learned some things. Have we learned some things? Yeah. Now look at this. And also, in addition to that, as a Christian sister and as a Christian brother, whosoever is God's will for you must be seen twice. The first sin will be the sin of the Spirit. The second sin will not be physical sin. Anyone you have not seen, don't see. Are you catching what I'm saying? Otherwise, you end up in the sea so that we can just be flowing with <laughs> Anyone you have not seen, don't what? Don't see. Otherwise, you end up in the sea and there's no canoe for you. No lifeboat. Only the help of God will find you there. God must have shown them to you before you approach them. So as the brother is coming to you, you are checking him with what? The picture that God has shown to you. There are some that their response is immediate. Are you there? There are some that you tell them, wait. Some sisters are so godly, they don't want the brother to feel bad. All right, all right, let me pray. But they already know the answer. Allah, let me pray about it. That one will now go home dreaming, dreaming about uh, Sister Christina. <laughs> Someone will now come and say, No, break the brother's heart. <laughs> if he does not look like the picture you have seen in God, what's your response? But when you begin to see similarities, then you say, Wait. The first weapon to use is no and wait. Yes is always the last. If you bring it first, Praise the Lord. And a relationship that you enter with, I beg. I beg, I beg you. Now beg, I beg. <laughs> you will also keep it with, now beg, I beg. You enter with, that who shall not give me. I'm the last boy in my house. I'm 30 now. <laughs> you will keep it with that. That sin to create you know, no I'm having T lock. Ten years in marriage, twenty years. What's the matter with you here? Have you not seen men leaving their wives after five children, seven children? Now you're not wondering. <laughs> what again did they, they, I don't understand? After five children, six children, seven children, you left your wife. The question is, to where? <laughs> That's to hello. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm saying now. I see now. Have you not seen families like that? Sa to where? It's to end. Because there's no way. <laughs> May the Lord have mercy on us. I need to round off this session. Alright. Married, the wife, and how many children? How many, can we shout it? How many children? Five. Five. That's the letter of Jesus. J E S U. 
Jesus Christ. Now, he now discovered that after how many years? After 50. After 50 years? 15 years. 15. 15. You're already old. Now, he now discovered that the all the children belong to so he has been doing charity he's a charity father are you there now what should he do you see we have lived for 50 years there's nothing he can do he cannot go and impregnate the the grace has been withdrawn i get what i'm saying the thing is i the natural thing is going to pain the man are you there for some time, the man can just stay and go and heal up. Are you there? Maybe looking at the woman may hurt. He can stay in a place and heal up. And after that, he has to come back. Hello? Look at this. Anytime you blame somebody for something, there's always a blame that you are not seeing in yourself. I, I tell you the truth. Anytime you blame someone for something, there's always what? A blame that you are not putting on yourself. The woman gave birth. Now, the woman did something wrong. Am I right? But it may be due to the lapses of the man that led to that wrong act. You know, there are some brothers that are too spiritual. Le kapara satieke. Oni, oni, oni. Can't leave me. I want to pray. I can't make it. Take it, take it. He will pray for 10 hours. Just the, the wife will say, please, honey, let's say let's do what? I thought it's male that used to tell sisters. You are even the one telling me. No way. That kind of wife. If the devil minister to her heart, she can begin to commit a death. Are you getting what I'm saying? You see, there are issues in marriages. It's not that they will not tell you. I'm not joking, no. There are God. May the Lord have mercy. There are some issues in marriage that are even demonic. Should I give you one example? Should I give you one example? Do you know that? Now, I heard the story. There's this man, they got married, and the man does not sleep with his wife. You know what the man will do? If he, if he even tries to sleep with his wife, he's not getting any pleasure from it. So, what he will do is ask the wife to be doing masturbation. He will be watching his wife like this. That's where he will be deriving pleasure from. And some of them will come out now with Ankara. He will say, Lord, I desire. Sometimes angels are saying, are you serious at all? Praise the Lord. I see what I'm saying now. Hello, bro, Paul. Please, can we move to this place? So, in that have I answered your question, bro, Paul? Praise the Lord. Any other question? Any other question? All right. Before we end this session, let me add one more thing. Praise God. Now, listen to me. You must have had cases of men sending out their wives because to them she refused to give birth. Have you not heard something like that before? Barrenness is never a genuine reason to send out your what? Your wife. That's the truth. Do you know that this I want to say now, I know some of you will not believe because your mentality is is different. Do you know the primary reason for marriage is not even childbearing. You don't know. The primary reason for marriage is companionship. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, if you understand this, childbearing will not be what? Be an issue. Both of you will be able to what? Wait for each other. Have you not seen some families that they don't have children and they are happy? Have you seen families that don't have children? Have you not seen? It's understanding. But you, you see, there's something, that's why you have to be careful. There's something the environment is teaching you now that you may not even know until you get married. I'm not joking. See, as a single sister, as a single brother, 
beware of those women that will call you when they are talking and they will be talking bad on their husband. Beware. They are, they are polluting your heart. They may have issues with their own marriage. But anytime you see somebody who has issues with his marriage trying to discuss the issue with you that you are not married, what should you do? Take your leave. Because your heart will be what? Polluted. Are you getting what I'm saying? If there's no question, can we buy our heads and pray? Say, Father, we thank you for your word that we've heard. Let your name be glorified. In the name of Jesus. You have done so much for us. It is guarded, it is guided. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. For every one of us, each and every one of us here, we receive a te- the testimony of heaven. Of a goodly home, a goodly home. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. You know why Mr. Crestrock is leading us in prayers? We need to stand and press into this prayer. Please, let's not to We need to take the prayer more seriously. You can choose to hold hands with someone. We we'll pray in agreement, then we we'll pray alone. Please hold hands with someone. I say, Lord, this person I'm holding, just decree your marriage will not fail. In the name of Jesus, can you pray? Pray of agreement. Your marriage will not fail. Yes, yes, it will not fail. In the name of what made others to fail will not make you to fail. In the name of Jesus, you will become a responsible man, a responsible woman. Please decree, decree, decree. Oh my God, oh my God. Please take it more serious. Be serious about it. You will be a responsible woman. If you are holding a brother, so you will be a responsible husband. In the name of Jesus. The virtuous woman you will be. Yes. 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 You will be like Deborah. If you are holding a brother, so you will be like Joseph. Men who make mark in their generation. Please be serious with this prayer. Yes, 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 yes. You can pray for them and say, You will not make the wrong choice. You will not make the wrong choice. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Now, listen to me. When you see a, when you see a single mother with her children, and then the husband is not there. Yet the husband is not there. You understand, you understand what I'm saying? The husband is not what? He's not dead. Yet he's not what? He's not there. You know something has happened. There's it, there's something that was altered from the beginning. You see, you may be in the wrong relationship and not know. You may marry. And that man is wrong and not know. But time will tell. See, if your relationship hurts now, it may pain you. Are you there? But it's better if your marriage crashes. Aye. That one is terrible. I know you are young, but pray so you can save your future. Are you there? Now let's pray. Just leave, leave each other. And pray this one alone. Face your destiny now. I begin to make declarations to yourself. My marriage will not fail. I will not be entangled in a wrong relationship. Lord, everyone sent by the devil to deceive me. Bring my future into bondage. I disconnect from them now. Yes. Everyone sent from the devil to entice me. To entice me, to distract me. Yes. I disconnect from them. The agenda over me will not succeed. Yes. In Jesus' name we are praying. Now before he continues, I will just give him one more prayer point. You see, the devil knows that now you want to follow God. He knows your effort to listen to messages 
fast, build yourself spiritually. He knows you have been taught how to submit to your head. So the next target now is to give you the wrong head. That's the head that even when you submit, your submission will be used against you. Have you not seen some relationship like that? Your submission will be what? Used again. In the book of Proverbs, there's this woman who, who was dressed in the attire of a harlot. Are you there? You know what the woman said? This is in the Bible. The woman said, the good man is not what? Is not at all. Come into me. The what? The good man. So the question is, how did the good man end up marrying a harlot? So you can be the good brother, but be a careless, you can end up with the habit. So your goodness will be used against you. He is not at all. Every good virtues you bring out will be, not, will be used against you. Oh, he, he, he told me he will come in the next two weeks, and he cannot lie. So because he is being truthful now, that will be used against the man. Oh, as a brother, may I not end up with a harlot? There are also, there are also, you see, there are also brothers like that. Whether you are a sister or brother, pray. You see, that spirit is, lives in both men and women. There are some men, you marry them, you are faithful to them, but they will never be faithful to you. Every godly virtue you give to them, they give it the opposite. My dear, my dear husband, you know, I'll be back in a week time. Oh, that's good. They know you can't lie. See that seven days is seven days of revival at home. Because they know you can't lie. Do you know some head are even making it hard for their wife to submit? They are making it hard. I feel so pained when I see single mothers. Are you there? I begin to wonder, did this tide fall from him? As a brother, you better pray. And as a sister, pray. May I not grow to be that useless man? May I not grow to be a useless woman? Kill every dirty tendency in me now. Help yourself and pray that prayer. May I not grow to become a useless man? May I not grow to become a useless woman? Kill every dirty tendency. Every sinful tendency in me. Now, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sama Kampri. Jaka Braske te Keto Kamba Radika Banta. Bresko te li kambre. Kika hatuza. Sembre kubahante kaburia. Shibranta kubahante. Raika panto sika barima. Bresko bahante kubahante. Zeki kabrasko kade mambante kabru. Rika bayika katwata. Jaka te kabruska bahante. Rasta ta kombe latambi. Bayiko paraka baku katatila. Raba babata. Ibreke ke kuta. Jembreko bahante. Bembeli kabraska tolima. Mayeta kombra katala. Aiko bereke paraka pakwata. Parakwa kapanako. Pilo kabrako bahanta. Bento koze ki bahanta. Kumahati, Rebe Bebe de Gebe de Gepa, Aiko Brekupa Hanteli, Braske de Canto Ria Bahai, Esha Breke Kebete Kaparako Paliba, Aimo Kumbre Keteliba, Braske de Kumbahati, Rada da 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 da, Payoma, 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 Jesus, now we are praying. Amen. Now listen to me. The Lord wants us to press into this. Today, it's a special relationship Sunday because today I feel the Lord laying emphasis on relationship, on marriage in particular. One of the things the devil does is 
it will fill your ears with a lot of news about bad marriages, wrong marriages. And then by doing that, it will begin to bring fears to you. Fear of all men are the same. And some of you, as young as you are now, you're already thinking that in your heart. All women are the same. If you walk with that notion, you miss it. Even when it does not work for them, it will what? Work for them. Yes. Even when others fail there, I will not what? Can you, can you begin to pray and say, Lord, every evil mentality that the devil has planted into me to bring me to a wrong marriage, I cancel it now. Every evil mentality that the devil has given to me to bring me into a wrong marriage, I cancel it now. Shabala parababata belleta. In Jesus' name we are praying. Listen to me. I will marry a pastor, will not save you. Because some pastors are more worse than some unbelievers. I was speaking to a little girl, you know, to a girl, not little like that. She said, you know, it's only my mom that will pay for this. I said, what of your dad? I said, well, my dad is a pastor, but, you know, he doesn't want to cater for anything, education. You know, it's only my mom that is doing everything. In my mind, I said, what? My dad is a what? Those are people that mount the pulpit on Sundays. At least every Sunday is sure for them. So you are not free. Because some of you are saying, well, oh Lord, I hope. Don't deceive yourself. It's not about marrying a pastor. Some of the ministers you see are more worse than the devil. I feel we need to intercede for marriages. Maybe you know one of them. Maybe you know two who are currently passing through torment now. The wife is not happy. The husband is not happy. They are just pretending, patching things up. They are married, but they wish they had not even gotten married. Can we intercede and raise a cry for every relationship married suffering from crisis? Lord, you will intervene. You will calm the storm. Hashabila kubarahava. Rehis kabila brahida baban kebele kwatabai. You will calm the storm. Lord, calm the storm. Jesus, calm the storm. Holy Ghost, calm the storm. Shapile kopaladai. Embre hasizi berehis kabroho bababa. Oh, calm the storm, oh God. Eraba kabala kuberehai. Calm the storm, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, calm the storm, calm the storm. Can we raise intercession for our families, our families, our own families, our own family, our own family, our own family, our own family, and say, Lord, calm the storm, calm the storm, calm the storm in my family, calm the storm in my family, calm the storm in my family. The devil has so much invaded this space so that almost every marriage is, is, is in this same problem. Can we ask the Lord, calm the storm, calm the storm, calm the storm in my family. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Kuske bambro ko baka temba kambre, bunante kim baka kunda, bele kantus kabahante li barima, 
Rekete kumba kati la kaba, shete kete kumba kati di kabarati. Embre kusa, embre koko tori bakata ya. Maya to kumba kata, embe luka bras kati kankumbe lima. Maiko pela, maiko pela, maiko pela, maiko pela. Shete kete tu kabahata. Pentu kambele kakuba hateni. Raba baba 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 zi. Mekuba le katuza kaparati. Embre kopa katuku baratia. Rada da 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 baba la gaba. Medlo kobre kete kabari kabaya. In Jesus name we are still praying. Some of these things are generational in school. Some of these things are flowing through lineage. Flowing through the blood. The same way the marriage of the godfather is... You know, the father, grandfather married more than one wife, more than two wives. The father to more than more than one wife. And then you are the next. Or the mother did not get, you know, the mother was impregnated before marriage. This thing can be generational. And you should be able to now trace the one that is particular to your own. And it is that thing that we are going to pray against this evening. The one you can picture in your family that is like a cycle, like a cycle in the marriages in your family. You want to raise a cry and say, Lord, it will not continue in my own time. It will not continue in my own time. There is a spirit of the devil that is behind these generational cycles, demonic cycles in marriages, can we ask the Lord and say, Lord, not in my time. It had continued. It had, it had, been, it had been raining before, but not in my time. 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 The cycle breaks. It breaks in my time. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the cycle breaks, it breaks, it breaks, it breaks, it breaks, not in my own time. In the name of Jesus, Satan has been having the upper hand all this while, but not in my generation, not in my time. The yoke breaks, the yoke breaks, the yoke breaks, the yoke breaks. I will not be a victim of generational demonic cycles. In the name of Jesus, I will not be a victim. I will not be a victim. I will not be a victim. I make way for my siblings. Some of us are the first born in the family. Can you make way for your siblings? And say no, it ends. It ends. It ends. Every tree, every tree that the Lord has not planted must be uprooted from its roots. We uproot every gen demonic generational generational demonic curses in our marriages that has been planted. Let them be uprooted. Let them be uprooted. Let them be uprooted. In the name of Jesus. Let them be uprooted. In the name of Jesus. 